What's up everybody, JJ Shankles, the Goat Toasters here, back with another video. Today I wanted to answer the question I sometimes get of what's your favorite coffee maker if I had one? And I do actually have one. I know on my espresso videos it seems like I just drink espresso every day, but I do like this one. This is the coffee maker I've had for about three years now. This is an older model by Ninja, but their newer versions just have upgraded on it. But this old one works just as well as the newer one, so I wanted to explain this one and why I like the Ninja system for single serve coffee makers. So first off, I wanted a single serve coffee maker that doesn't use K-cups. K-cups aren't great for the environment and I hated just wasting those little plastic cups every single day that I wanted coffee. So this does use a basket system that folds out. You get the basket out there. And so you can use any grounds you want or you can use your own beans, grind them fresh, put them in here and you'll get an amazing cup of coffee. Got one right here. I like that it's a single serve coffee maker because I don't need a carafe a big glass pitcher that I'm going to be pouring out of. When I want coffee, I brew a cup. And then if I want another cup later in the day, I can just brew a second cup and it'll be a fresh cup instead of brewing a pot. And then you have this pot of coffee there and then if you come back for it, it won't be super fresh. Because there's only me and my fiance living here, so if we ever wanted coffee, we're not brewing more than a couple cups at a time. So I'll brew my cup and then brew one for her. Another big advantage of the Ninja system is how compact it is especially for apartment sizes. We live in an apartment here, so counter space is vital. So this takes up a very, fairly small square footprint on the ground and everything detaches out of here. You get your, your front thing slides straight out and you can lift out the basket. Here on the side, this lifts straight up to get your water tank. Your milk frother on the back folds straight out and then you can detach this to go wash it. Even the mug stand fits right there so you can put a mug in there so the top of the mug is closer to the spout you get less splashes that way but if you're using a thermos you can lift it up and put it under here directly another great feature this has is the versatility in your options over here you got this dial that selects your different sizes from a regular cup extra large travel extra large travel so you get four different sizes depending on how much coffee you want and those coffee size selections do correspond to a different size of this scoop. So this scoop has a small cup and large cup, and on here is written what, how many scoops you use. Two scoops of the small one to brew a regular cup, three scoops of the small one to make an extra large cup, two large scoops is a regular travel, three large ones is an extra large travel mug. Super great that it's just built in. That way you don't lose the scooper anywhere or have to use a different scoop and not exactly sure. Or if you don't remember, if you rarely make travel mugs of coffee, and then all of a sudden you need to make one, you can't remember exactly how many it is. It's written right on the scoop that stays right on the side of the machine. So that's a feature I really enjoy. And moving down the front here, you've got so many different options. Your classic brew is a just regular cup of coffee. The rich brew, it brews it a little bit slower, so it puts some water in the grounds, lets them bloom a little bit, and then continues the brew. It's a little bit slower, but it gives a little bit of a stronger coffee at the end. Your over ice setting is gonna be even stronger than the rich brew, but that's great if you're gonna be brewing into a glass of ice because your coffee's gonna get watered down, so you want it to be as strong as possible. Then moving to this bottom section down here, this is the part that really sets it apart from some other coffee makers. You've got what they call a specialty four ounce, that's their version of a espresso-like coffee. So it's not actually espresso because it's not pressurized. You can't call it espresso unless it's pressurized. But this I would call a simulated espresso. It's like espresso and useful if you're making lattes or other things. If you want to be your own home barista making fun drinks, but you don't have an espresso maker, this is a fun feature to have in there. The one below it down on the bottom, they call it Cafe Forte. It's kind of like an Americano. It's that same espresso, but a little bit more watered down. And it tastes surprisingly good compared to an Americano. For, I don't know actually what magic wizardry they do to turn regular coffee grounds into something that tastes kind of like an Americano. It's not gonna be as good as a full espresso maker, but to have this all in one single box is really powerful and gives you this versatility to change up whatever you're feeling that morning, you can brew so many different options. Down on the bottom, you've got your regular power and then a clean button. The clean light is on, so I'm gonna run through the clean cycle in a different video. Make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss that one. So that sums up your feature set and all the things I enjoy about this coffee maker. I do wanna nitpick a couple things I don't like about this. First is how small this water container is. It does give you lines on the side to tell you how much you minimum fill lines for a regular cup or a travel cup. But the problem is it's kind of a small container. If you fill it up to max, you can only brew about three cups of 
of coffee before you're out. So if you drink very much coffee, you're just gonna have to fill it up a lot. Not a huge downside because it is so easy to lift off and fill, or you can even open up the top and just pour water in the top. Fairly easy, I did just wanna mention that one. The other downside is how tall or lack of tall. This thing is kind of short. It's only about eight inches between the spout and the bottom here. So some things, like this is a hydro flask, pretty standard size, but it's such a narrow and tall one, it won't fit under here. And I've tried a bunch of different options. You can sit here and hold it here. It's brewing coffee, so I usually don't like to do that. So I'll brew it in a mug and then pour it in here. So if you use a lot of tall thermoses, make sure you measure it and make sure it works. This one's about eight and a quarter inches, and that one doesn't work. So it really needs to be eight inches or below. So if your thermos works, that'll be great. But I do want to mention that. Another tip I would recommend when you open this, you can pull out just the basket, but if you've just brewed, it's gonna be dripping like this. So you can lift out the whole cup here. And it gives you this plastic container and that. Take this all the way over to the trash, then lift out the top. It makes it a lot easier for you. There's a lot less spilling, like I've been spilling all around here. But it's all for the video, I'll clean it later. But that about wraps up my review of the Ninja Coffee Maker system. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And if you would like and subscribe while you're down there, it really helps this channel out. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and makes it so more people can see this channel. But anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing day out there. Hope you have some amazing coffee today, and I'll see you in the next video. Go Toaster out.